You should watch this video if you want to learn about the seven different ways that you can write code to interact with Chargent. Our goal has always been that developers can create any custom payment process using Chargent. When we think about use cases, of course it could be e-commerce. Perhaps it's invoice presentment. It could even be peer-to-peer -peer payments. Really, it can be any payment process that you can imagine. In this video, we're gonna talk about the different tools the developers and technical architects have available to create these unique processes. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce developer or a technical architect and you wanna learn about creating custom payment solutions, then you are in the right place. And by the way, we've got another guide for you in the description of this video. And I'm gonna tell you more about that here in just a minute. We're gonna discuss seven ways that you can interact with Chargent using code. Number one on our list, that's our Apex API. The Chargent Apex API is used when you're working in Salesforce Apex code. We wanna make sure that you can do the primary payment transaction types, including register token, authorized payment, capture payment, refund payment, and void transaction. Notably, the Apex API, this is our most popular way. This is the one most developers use to interact with Chargent. And one important thing that you should know is you can also reduce your accounts receivables and your collections challenges in Salesforce using Chargent. Learn how you can save time and money by making your payments configurable and automated. Download the guide using the link in the description of this video. So number two, that's our Flow API. Now, this is somewhat similar to our Apex API, but this is for those of us who are not full-on developers, and this is our low-code development option. In the Chargent Flow API, you get access to the primary payment transaction types, which we reviewed just a little bit earlier. You can take payment directly inside of Flow. You can also call our Take Payment component. The Flow API, it is great for creating new UIs without having to write any actual code. All right, option number three, that's the Chargent RESTful API. Use this option when you want to connect non-Salesforce systems to payments. And when you want to come in from the outside. For instance, this could be your e-commerce website, where you want to connect to Chargent to take payment and store that customer data securely inside of Salesforce. This API has all the things we've mentioned before. Of course, the primary payment transaction types that we just talked about, and you can also create subscriptions. You can do a few other things pretty easily. Option number four, that's our headless API. We created this API specifically for our Salesforce ISV partners. Our headless API supports tokenization and authorization transaction types. We wanted to give the ISVs the freedom to avoid using the Chargent data model if they didn't want to. And option number five is our brand new multi-gateway tokenization. Those familiar with Chargent, you might be saying, hey, Chargent's always been able to do multi-gateway and that's very true, but this is a little bit different. In the past, we've had several customers who maybe even have like 200 different gateways, and that's all in a single charger. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is actually tokenizing out to multiple gateways in a single call. So let's say that you're in the middle of migrating to a new gateway, and you want to ensure that the tokens you're getting today go to both your legacy gateway and your new gateway. We make that really simple using our multi-gateway tokenization feature. Number six is the Chargent Custom Checkout feature. This is a tool that enables JavaScript and front-end developers to make pixel-perfect pages using Node.js. Now, you can make precise pages that exactly match your brand, down to the pixel, and in a very short amount of time. Finally, number seven, this is our new smart payment routing feature. Let's say that you're processing payments in Europe, but you're using a different gateway in the US. What if the customer puts in a European billing address in the middle of the payment form? Well, today, all you need to do is create a flow that tells you which one it needs to go to and makes that decision for you and connect the Chargent Smart Payment Routing and bingo, you're ready to go. All right, I want you to check out this next video here where we're gonna take a deeper look into some of these features. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent where we are dedicated to helping you make Salesforce payments simple. And remember, we are always here to help.